Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be showing you guys what I got for Christmas. Let's begin. So as we all know, Christmas was very recently. So is today the day after Christmas? If yes, then Christmas was yesterday. Woo! So let me show you guys what I got for Christmas. So let's jump right in and get started. So first I'm going to be showing you guys what I got from clothing. So one of my favorite things I got this year was this giant hoodie. It's like a ginormous hoodie. It, this was an early Christmas gift, which I opened in one of my Vlogmas videos. I think on Vlogmas week one. Um, and yeah, look at this. And it's really, really comfortable, and I just, like, lounge around in this in the house. It's just, like, so extremely soft. I know these are, they're, like, things sim similar to this that are called Udi's or Comfy. Not, this isn't one of them, but it's basically made like one of them, but it's a different company. It's called Redis. Anyways, next, we have these plaid pajamas. This plaid pajama set, black and white. And I really, really like these. These are like really comfy. And when I opened them, I was just like lounging around them the whole day. I really, really love these. Next, we have this purple and white striped sweater with a moon and this is also an early christmas gift if you're already subscribed to the channel you may have seen me wear this in the secret santa video so yeah if you haven't watched the secret santa video yet you should it's really funny and really fun so yeah i got this for my brother the other two gifts were from my mom so yes thank you so much to them next we have i got three pairs of these socks they're white basic cute little socks which i want to wear under my converse or under my my Doc Martens but basically they look really cute under those and as you see they have like little ruffles at the top which I think is really cute and yeah I didn't really have anything I wanted that much so this Christmas I most asked for things I needed and I needed slash wanted some socks like these anyways next we have really really amazing fluffy socks <laughs> you can never have too much fluffy socks and I do have a lot of fluffy socks did I just say fluffy? Still, I have a lot of fluffy. Said it again. I have a lot of fluffy socks, but you can never have too much. I'm asking for these probably every year. You can never go wrong with them. And next from the clothing, I have these really warm winter gloves. Next, we have this really, really cute purse. It's like a white shoulder bag, and these are like very trendy right now. And they basically go with like almost any outfit, which I think is really cool. And I just asked, really wanted one of these, and th look at this. It's just like so cute. Except for one little problem. It kind of keeps on falling off my shoulder. Does anybody have to fix that? Um, please comment down below if you do. But nevertheless, I love this purse so much okay that was everything from clothing need to get a little energizing boost um this video is not sponsored by the way i just love this kombucha anyways next we have jewelry or accessories you know first we have this really cute vintage locket it's like an oval shape and it has little flowers and i just think that this is so damn cute do you guys want to know what i put inside of it <laughs> try to guess if you know me you know that I love books, and this is what I put inside of it. My beloved Cardin from The Cruel Prince, my book boyfriend. Readers, you all know. Anyways, that was one of the lockets, and then the other locket that I got is this cute hearts gold locket. Fake gold, because I don't really care for real gold. And I have a little thing where I always lose my jewelry or accessories, and it's really annoying, so it won't hurt as much if I somehow manage to lose this. But yeah, I really like this. It matches my outfit right now, and I haven't put anything in there. This, but I'm thinking of putting one of my other book boyfriends in here so yeah yep so that was the stuff from jewelry accessories and now moving on to the next category we have books yes I am a big bookworm oh wait not only that so yeah, these are the books that I got. So, usually I don't really read middle grade books that much, excluding Percy Jackson. I just recently started that series. You guys were like never endlessly telling me to in the comments of my book recommendation video. And I was like, okay, I'll do it. And then I got the set, box set. And I read the first book and I loved it. Can't read, wait to read the next ones. And anyways, so this is the middle grade book that I got. It's called Iron Trial. It's by Holly Black, who is the author of The Cruel Prince. And in The Cruel Prince Carden, who is aka 
my beloved in my locket. Anyways, and Cassandra Clear, and I haven't read one of her books yet, but I have a whole entire box set of the Mortal Instruments box sets. And so yeah, basically both of these authors did a little collab on this book, so I'm really excited to read this! Anyways, and then the other book I got, I opened before the day that I was supposed to open it, and it is The Holiday Switch. I already started reading this. I'm like on page, let's see, I'm currently on page 65, and this book is 12 plus, and it's like a cute little Christmassy romance, and I like this. Uh, so far, I'm liking it. Can't really say my thoughts, because I like only begun it, so. Also, I've been reading a lot of just fiction books, not fantasy, and even though I do like reading just a normal fiction, like cute little teenage romances, <sighs> My heart is just missing fantasy so much. So after I finish that, I'm definitely gonna go back to reading fantasy for a while. I may love all, pretty much all genres of books besides classics and, you know, homework books. But fantasy is always going to be my favorite and the one in my heart. Next in miscellaneous things, I got this Max Funko Pop and I am obsessed with it. Look at her, she is so damn cute with her glasses and her mall outfit. I just love Max so much. She's my favorite character from Stranger Things. Next, we have this. It's like a little silicone squishy lamp thing. These are like kind of trendy right now, I think. I'm not sure. But anyways, when I saw this little cute cloud with rainbow top, I added it to my wish list and it's so damn cute. So basically it lights up as you can see and I keep it on my nightstand so I can never ever sleep with a nightlight. So I just keep it on during the day or evening. It can go like 10 hours without charging so I can just charge it when I'm not using it. There's different lights modes. There's this, which is the warm lights mode. Then there's the bright lights mode. And then there's the color changing light mode. Let's wait for it to change colors. Yeah, so basically gonna change colors. And also I can lock it on one color. For example, I'm gonna lock it on blue. Oh wait, I accidentally turned it off. Here, after forever waiting for it to change the color I wanted, and after a million tries of pausing it, um, I managed to make it stay on this color, which is kind of like a bluish, tealish green. So yeah, this is, I really, really like this. I love this so much, it's so cute. And it just makes me happy just by looking at this cute, adorable face and look at his little blush. What could be cuter than this? Next, we have this phone case. So as you can see, my sister actually ordered herself a phone case, but for some reason they sent her two instead of one, so she just gave me this one. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use this that much because it doesn't seem very protection. Like, it doesn't have those, like, falling edges things. Like, you know, if you drop your phone, it won't. Next up, uh, we have this Disney Princess Croquet, or Croquette, or Crochet. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, whatever. Um, but yeah, you can basically Croquette or Crochet, um, Disney Princesses. Look how cute. So yeah, as you can see the hook is gone from me because I already tried to crack it. It's really really hard, but hopefully I'll figure it out. <laughs> Next we have tickets to ride! Surprisingly, I have never played this game before, but we opened this game a bit before Christmas and we played it all together and it's really fun and I'm surprised that we never got it before. But yeah, we got this. And then um so our mom got us this for me and my siblings to play. But then our friend also got us the same thing. <laughs> so then we returned one of the boxes to back to Target and we got a gift card and then we used like half of the amount on the gift card to get this poker set, which is really extremely heavy. So yeah, we're gonna try playing poker and it's really confusing. So I don't know how we're gonna figure it out. Also, from my grandparents on both sides of the family, they got me and my siblings money. From my mom's side, they gave each of us $50, and then from my dad's side, they gave us $50 each. So that's really nice. Thank you so much to your grandparents. They're always so generous. This gift is from my sister, which she included with one of her other gifts that she gave me. And it is just some stationery, like this little pen that, you know, changes colors, blue and pink, and some stickers, like this one and these. Also, another thing I forgot to mention was I got bamboo silky bedding, and it's pink, and it matches my room perfectly, and it's so extremely 
soft. It's literally like sleeping on a cloud. And also silk is not really that great because trillions of silk bugs get killed every year in making silk. So I find that really cruel. And bamboo is a natural and a great alternative. Like amazing and not to mention it also feels like silk so why do silk when you can do bamboo a couple other things i forgot to mention were i got a hunt a killer game it was nancy drew mystery at the magnolia something i forgot but anyways i did this and it took me around three hours and it was really fun and i i solved it i found out who the killer was i mean not the killer but you know basically the bad guy so yeah that was really fun and also, I got this rose gold microphone from Amazon. It was malfunctioning and not working as I expected to. Just kind of sad because I'm really looking forward to doing some karaoke. And annoying my siblings with it. But unfortunately, I was not able to do that because it was malfunctioning and it wasn't that great. So we returned it. So, guys, that is everything I got this year. <laughs> Gotta energize after that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's very energizing. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Also, a little thing I'm putting in the end. If you're still watching, me and my family actually don't celebrate Christmas. So, you may be wondering, then why did you just now show us everything that you got for Christmas if you don't celebrate Christmas? Yeah, I said that because, um, technically, we don't celebrate Christmas, but we celebrate the winter solstice and the new year but usually nobody ever captions their videos what i got for winter solstice or what i got for new year so i thought i'd make it more relevant to you guys since basically we just celebrate the same way like we also get a tree decorate it like do gingerbread cookies all that stuff that is done at christmas or whatever so yeah anyways i'm still out of breath but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a happy holidays and have a happy new year and i'll see you guys in my next video bye also only a teeny tiny percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed so if you enjoy my videos and if you're one of those people that watch a lot of my videos but are not subscribed it would mean so much to me if you subscribe so thank you guys so much for watching i just said that but yeah.